So you've decided you want to get into IT and more specifically networking. Well, where do you start? Hi, I'm Wes Bryan, edutainer at IT Pro TV, and I'd like to take a few moments to tell you a little bit about the CompTIA Network Plus certification that we currently have in our library at IT Pro TV. CompTIA's Network Plus certification is an industry-wide standard. Uh, really, it's, it's recognized worldwide as a the go-to foundational networking certification if you're just getting started out. Now, unlike other exams, like for instance, A plus exams that have a broad range of topics that you have to um, uh, validate that you understand, um, the focus here at Network Plus really is just on networking. It really lasers in and focuses on things like architecture and design, right? One of the components that make up a, a modern network as well as where do they fit in holistically with all the other components that we use to uh, basically to have network communications. We'll look at things like industry-wide standards. For instance, what's the transmission speed of your current wireless network based on the standards that you uh, have implemented? So we'll look at a variety of industry-wide standards that allow for interoperability between dissimilar uh, communication protocols, dissimilar network types. We'll also look at the configuration. How uh, are some of the major components and services, what are those services as well, and how are they configured in networks today? Likewise, not only configuration, but management and monitoring of our networks, and these topics and concepts are going to be important. And then, as always, it's going to be important to understand how to troubleshoot your network so that you can maintain communications. Now, we're going to look a little bit more into some of the things that you can expect in the, a plus, or the uh, Net Plus course, as well as the Net Plus exam. Let's talk briefly about some of the jobs that um, you know somebody that has got a Network Plus certification could potentially be stepping into. You could be stepping into something as a like a junior network administrator. It could be somebody like a network field technician. Maybe you're out in the field and you're going from uh, customer web, um, location to customer location supporting. Well, you could be a field tech. You could be a computer technician as well as things like a network support specialist. Now. I also want to let you know that the CompTIA Network Plus certification is recognized by a variety of companies, and some of those companies you've probably heard of before. Things like Apple, Canon, Intel, HP, as well as, well, the Department of Defense here in the United States as well. So what do you say we go ahead and we take a, uh, a, a second to just kind of dive into uh, the Network Plus certification and some of the things that you can expect to see inside of the course. So I'm on uh, CompTIA's website and we will, we will keep all of these links in uh, the descriptions below so that you can have them and you can um, browse on over to these websites. Right now I'm currently on CompTIA's website and under the certifications location, you can find all of their certifications. For us in, in this uh, video, it's going to be Network Plus. And you can get information basically related to what is going to be required, the required body of knowledge for being Net Plus certified, uh, and Network Plus certified, if you will. And you can see, for instance, some of the uh, skills and the knowledge that uh, you will validate, things like design and implementation of functional networks. You can say configure, manage, maintain network devices, like what is the difference between a switch? What's the difference between a router? How do they work together inside of your networks? You know, what is a gateway type device? What's a hub, network adapter, all these different components as well. Uh, we talk about the devices like switches, routers used for network segmentation and how that's implemented, network security standards as well as protocols, and then also looking at some of the drawbacks of existing configurations. Because let's face it today, a lot of times you're going to be going into a business and you're going to be supporting a network, maybe not completely building the network too. So we're going to uh, look at some of the uh, benefits and drawbacks of using and supporting existing networks as well as troubleshooting network problems. That's going to be a fairly good portion of our Network Plus exam and concepts as well. And then finally, things like cloud and virtualization. Now, uh, when we look at the uh, the uh, the topics a little bit more in depth. I've actually got the Network Plus N10007 CompTIA specified objectives here. Now you can browse on over to the same website that's in the descriptions, and you can find this for yourself as well by just filling out a little bit of information uh, about yourself, and then submitting that to CompTIA, and they'll allow you to download these objectives for yourself. And if you are considering Network Plus. I would definitely recommend being very, very familiar with what's in the exam.
All right, and if we look, we can see that the exam number that we're talking about currently is N10007. Uh, and we can see exactly how the exams break down. You'll see uh, that the exam is a 90-minute exam. Uh, it's multiple choice and performance-based questions. So you can have multiple choice, including multiple answer, as well as simulations, drag and drops, and then performance-based simulations uh, likewise, too. Now, the uh, length of the test is 90 minutes, so you figure 90 questions, 90 minutes, and they, they give you a recommended experience. Understand that this is a recommended experience. It's not a requirement in order to take and pass Network Plus, uh, the Network Plus certification. It is recommended that you have about uh, nine months experience in just network communication support or administration, as well as being A Plus certified beforehand, because you will have a good foundation for a lot of the computing technologies that not only do you see as a help desk, but inside of network communications likewise too. Now when we look at the domain breakdowns here you'll see that we have five different uh, domains and the individual domains are weighted accordingly. Uh, notice that networking concepts that's going to be 23 percent of your overall exam with infrastructure being 18 percent and you can see network operations it is going to be uh, 17 percent network security this is a very very big topic because not only do we have to uh, implement networks, but we also may have to make sure that they uh, are, we also implement things like cybersecurity. So we're going to be focused on security as well here in Network Plus. And then finally, network uh, troubleshooting and some of the tools and utilities you use to not only troubleshoot your networks, but help to maintain communications within them. All right, so that's a little bit of the breakdown of the Network Plus exam. Now, if you are going to take this exam and you want to find out a little bit more information, you can go to the website. Again, links in the details below, in the description below. Uh, and I would recommend that when you decide to take Network Plus, you also become a, uh, familiar with these exam details. So you can see right here, if I click exam details, it's going to take me really just down to the bottom of the page here. And you're going to see some of this information that we've already kind of touched base on. Uh, you'll see that the exam code is N10007. All right. And you can also see what the information is that we've kind of talked about already with what you can expect when you sit the exam. Uh, and you actually start to take uh, the test. All right, you can see the uh, number of questions versus uh, the minutes. Uh, keep in mind that a passing score on the Network Plus exam is going to be 720, and that's CompTIA's uh, scale of 100 to 900. Uh, and currently, you can see that uh, the price here in United States dollars, configure, uh, you can definitely uh, convert this over to whatever your local currency is. We're here in the United States. So uh, the U.S. dollar, uh, this is $329. Now, where do we actually take this exam? Now, you can see that there's a couple of links here also going to be posted in the description below so that you have direct access to these links. Keep in mind that you can also visit this website and you can see that we have testing centers and online testing centers. The CompTIA uh, certification, certify as a certification body, they use Pearson View as their testing proctor. And when you click these links, it's going to take you uh, to one of two pages. If you're going to take the exam in a brick and mortar uh, type fashion, you can gain information of where you need to go and how you need to go about scheduling your exam. Keep in mind, we know that given the filming, uh, currently we are in uh, the end of 2020, or approaching, I would say, the last quarter in 2020. So given that the fact that we have a pandemic going on right now, they've also opened it up to online testing. So if a brick and mortar in-person type test maybe has you a little bit worried, a little concerned, you know, for health, obvious safety reasons, well, don't fret because they've also got an, um, an offer for people to take tests online too. And again, same location where we were before, uh, if you click this link, online testing, it's essentially going to open this page right here. Now, this page right here, we want to let you know, again, is a CompTIA page, but it gives you the same information that you could find if you go to Pearson View's OnView website. Again, uh, you can see the link right here, the Pearson View OnView testing policies, and as well as some of the information that you need to be aware of prior to taking an online exam, including things like running an exam uh, or a system test to ensure that the online platform is going to perform the way it should perform and not give you any troubles should you decide to, to use the platform and when you decide to take your exam. Now, we can also see this information from uh, Pearson View as well. This is the Pearson View website, more specifically their OnView website, and they have this for test takers. Uh, you can also find brick and mortar locations here as well. Notice that they tell you what the system requirements are and what would be um, how, your, your system and how it what it needs to support in order to uh, use the online platform. 
And when it is time to take your test, you can just schedule your test. Uh, there's a three-step process here. You run the system test, ensures that your platform can take the online test. Uh, you schedule your exam, click sign in. If you haven't, create an account. You need a Pearson View account. And then you can put in the CompTIA Network Plus exam, find your exam in the list, schedule it. And then on the day that it's time to sit the seat and actually take your exam, you can just press sign in and it will uh, ask you to run the test again. Prior to taking the exam, you'll have a, a live proctor there that will uh, basically uh, proctor you from an online location, allowing you to take your test if you don't want to be in brick and mortar. So these are some of the things that I would keep in mind when it comes to the CompTIA exam and the CompTIA course. Now, if you think this is something that you wanted to endeavor to get certified in, I would ask you to hop on over to the IT Pro TV's website because we have the Net Plus course in our library along with A Plus, Security Plus, and several other of the CompTIA certifications. If Network Plus may be not something that you're going to uh, get involved in, we've got a lot more. And we also want to remember or uh, remind you to make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.